What's up guys, welcome back to another Bedwars video, and in today's video we're not going to be playing Bedwars, but we will be reviewing Bedwars videos. And uh, yes, this video is quite old, so I'm not expecting it to obviously be relevant, but um, yeah, I'm excited to see just how to win Hypixel Bedwars. And so this got him to 7 stars in 2 days, which... Uh, <laughs> I, I, wow, nice. Well, I want to get to the seven stars in two days. Anyway, let's just get right into this video. All right, so first off, we start with a uh, 2013 Minecraft intro, uh, which is kind of nice. And it also has some copyrighted music, which kind of sucks. So yeah, I might bleep that out or something. Wow, speed silver. Although if you do just like forget what's happening on the left, it is a really uh cinematic uh, experience. This is silver here and welcome to another episode of High Pixel Bed Wars. Um I've actually never done a video on this, I don't know why I just said that, but you know. Basically today I wanted to show you guys my tactics of winning bed. Wait up, hold on. This guy is level six? I thought he meant like seven levels as in like he just he got seven full like he's level one hundred something and He's only level 6. I'm gonna trust this guy to give me uh, how to win Bedwars. Wait a minute. Emerald spawners? What is this guy gonna do? Obby rush or something? Um, okay. To to wait, um, wait. He's rushing to mid? I, I thought he was gonna rush to another island and get their bed. Why are you leaving your bed open and going to mid to literally let everyone go to your bed? How is this a good strat? Um, and then while we're doing that, we're actually just gonna let our gold generate. Um, so we're just gonna wait for three more iron to spawn, and then we should be good to go. I'm decent. It just depends. Like sometimes it's pretty easy to mess up. What I do is I. I'm decent. Y you're going to mid, and you're like barely speed bridging. You're like. He's half speed bridging, half new bridging. And he says, I'm decent. Okay, well, I want to see how decent he is. It's either choose my bed or choose the tactic. Uh, the tactic. We're actually going to have to choose our bed. I'm going to have to rush his bed. Okay, this is going to really delay it a lot, but it still might work. I don't know. What? Uh, this guy just, like, was about to break his bed, and all he does is jump <laughs> off? Why? How do you fall off like that? This is probably the biggest threat to us though, if I'm honest. Because he can biggest threat? The only thing that's big is his ping. Oh, how that. how is he a threat? We should be able to catch I, if you consider him him a threat, just wait until you play 2020 Bedwars. He still has a bit of bridging to go. He doesn't have any blocks at his ping. Oh my god, this, this poor lad forgot to bring blocks. C can we get an F in the chat for Abelito 7-7? Seven, seven? Oh, you're so dead, mate. Oh my god, he hit us. He hit us. Oh my god, he hit us, dude, he hit us, no way. I just go off a bit. Now he's dead, now he's so dead. Damn, this guy has a big ego for new bridging to mid and barely, be just barely keeping his bed, like... I wouldn't be saying he's so dead. Plus, he has an iron sword. Like, what is he supposed to do in this situation? Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, that delayed us a, a little bit. We're gonna be saving up for twelve emeralds. That's twelve emeralds? What is he gonna do? Like, get Obby and like more Obby? What is he gonna do? Is that the strat? When everything gets good. We're gonna play super aggressive here. Wow. Congrats, you just comboed a non, like. <laughs> Amazing. I can't believe it, man. You're the best Bedwars player ever. Why doesn't anyone protect their bed back in 2017? Like, isn't it common knowledge to, like, place at least one layer of wool over it? And now we can actually get really stacked here. So we're just gonna Wait a minute! 
He bought diamond armor? Are you kidding me? You're telling me with those... He bought diamond armor! Oh my god. Why? Out of anything you could have bought. Pots, pearls, I don't know, obby? Anything else? Like, why diamond armor? That's like a known rule in the Bedouin community not to buy diamond armor. He's got 22 iron. What is he going to do with that? Like, you don't need that much iron or gold. Like, you could use that on iron armor and then add, like, two full sets of pots or something and a pearl. Like, what are you doing? Oh my god, no. He bought... He bought a punch bow. I didn't even know this existed until now. Like, I didn't, I mean, I knew it existed, but I didn't think it was, it was all the way back in the release of the game. Like, I didn't, oh my god, I thought this was just a recent strat. Oh boy. Oh boy, here comes his first victim. Poor guy, he doesn't know what to do. He's level one. He's, he's, what is his bed defense? It's literally a crocodile. Jesus Christ. That's, that's just bullying right there. That is just bullying. There's literally nothing he can do now. We have to follow, like... Oh, poor unless, guy. Unless we miss a really... Dude, why is he running in a straight line? Like, I know this guy is bad, but, like, this guy is even worse. Like, I, I, I feel bad for both of them. I feel bad for the entire community back in 2017. Easy shot. See, he's just running in a straight line. Like, I don't know why I'm not firing in a straight line. Bang. See, this, this is... Honestly, this video right here is kind of... The reason why people still use punch bows because beginners think that oh you know what this is actually a really good strategy and i'll win and so nowadays in fours even in solos you see so many people using punch bows especially like the nons they're just like camping at mid as you take out everyone else and they get a punch bow and you can't do anything about it because all they do is bow you down every single day like you're on a bridge. You physically can't go anywhere except forward and backward. I'm he just made him miss like three times with his punch bow from like ten blocks away. Really that 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 shows just how unskillful he was. Maybe he's more skillful now, but like I'm pretty sure he's still pretty low level. Um, but I mean, yeah, y that just proves my point. How you don't need skill to win bed wars if you have a punch bow and diamond armor. kind of annoying do you see what you're doing right now like if you think that's annoying then like rethink what you're, what you're saying right now he's like bowing people over and over again bow spamming and he's like oh you know what they're running away that's kind of annoying like what else are they supposed to do walk to you just to get killed like of course they're gonna run away i mean what else are they gonna do instant wins, if you do this, honestly. Instant wins. Actually, the only challenge yeah. to it is actually holding off middle if someone else comes. But if you don't even have to hold off middle, then you should be good to go. So go ahead and grab that and that. Alright, at least this guy knows to buy a uh, pro and sharp. That's like the only thing that is kind of useful from this. And but he still bought diamond armor. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy of how unfair this game is going to be because you're... <laughs> yeah, like the game's most expensive items. Okay, this is one of the only things, or the second thing that I probably think would be kind of helpful, is doing this. I do this as well, because most of the time people won't realize that you're in their generator. Plus, you take their resources, so if you have more time, I'd put those resources in the ender chest. But that's like one of the only tips and tricks I kind of learned from this. Watch this. <laughs> so Bro, obvious. he didn't even do it right. He, he, what does he do? Oh my god, this kid. He just let him go and run away. And, and now he's gonna bow him towards or away from him. Oh my god, this... I don't even know. Okay. So yeah, no one else have, has projectiles, so like... It's literally just easy kills whenever you have this bow, honestly. And we're just gonna push him off the map. See you. Why were everyone bots back in the day? I mean, yeah, I guess because like... 
nobody actually knew how to play the game. There was no Gamer Boy 80. There's no purple. There was no semi green. Like none of those. There's no time do. I mean, there was, but they were all in their like rookie season okay, or something. Oh, that is unfair. That that's just unfair. It, it, it's like it's like you using your sword, but they can't reach you. So it's basically you having reach hacks. I know that's not exactly what it is, but yeah, I mean it does the same damage as the sword, and you have basically infinite reach. It, it's unfair. Can't do anything. He said both them, or I shot two arrows. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This guy won't acknowledge that he is a bow spammer, and he says, "Oh, I only, I only, I only shot two arrows." Yeah, uh, on him, but he also you at like half health, and he had no armor. You had a power and punch bow, and and if you don't think that's it, like look at the past fifteen victims that you killed. Like he also spammed at least five arrows on each of them, and each time they ran away from him because. It's so unfair. Like, this item, to be honest, I don't want to say that they should remove it because it's always been a part of the Bedwars community, but, like, at least have it so that it's eight emeralds, not six. Because ugh, six emeralds is just too easy to start bow spamming. And if they can't touch you, then you can't kill them. It's just it's just how the algorithm works. I mean, that that's kind of fair enough. <laughs> this guy tried to hit a easy block clutch that anybody could hit nowadays, and he just like completely whiffs on it. I mean, obviously back in the day they probably weren't that good, but he was like, I mean, he's just too confident and too cocky. And he, I, I'm not gonna say that he deserves it, but like, he, he kind of deserves it. All right, so that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, if you enjoyed these types of commentaries and reactions, uh, feel free to let me know. Leave a like, sub, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.